What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This is episode number two. And in the first episode, if you have not seen that, go check that out. Basically, we didn't learn much. I mean, we're just kind of exploring around and we're finding these little notes, stories, basically, that uh, I guess, I I'll assume Ethan Carter must have written and has left around. We found a uh, an astronaut, followed it, went up into outer space, and then came back down in a treehouse of sorts. Or like a deer stand, kind of. And uh, then traveled across here and found this little abandoned town. Not really sure what's going on yet. Uh, the, the house has had... There's a house down there had portals. Each one leading to a different room in this house. Which was kind of strange. Um, and then we came in this house and was getting little pieces of, of story, basically. But it really didn't make a lot of sense other than the family was being haunted by something. Not sure if it was like a ghost or their imagination or what, but um, it's definitely a strange, strange game, and I don't really know. It doesn't give a lot of ideas on where to go. Uh, I'm looking for like a crank and a rock, I think, um, and that's about all I know. So I, I don't really know the best next course of action. So if I'm skipping, if you've played this and I'm skipping ahead a lot, uh, then I'm sorry because I really don't know uh, where to go, to be honest. But I, I, I'm kind of figured out on my own, I guess. Uh, I'll probably do two or three episodes in a row, so if you try telling me where to go in the next episode I don't go there, then that's why. But, um, yeah. So we'll just continue on and hopefully, eventually, we'll find something that we might need. So I'm just going to walk down this road here and go into this house. That is a nice, nice big place there. Wow. Can I get into any of these closed doors? Probably be an open door somewhere. What is this? Are these graves? Or ornament? They look like graves. I don't know what they say. Ruin... Uh, this looks like something, whatever it is in German, maybe. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I guess they're graves, and it kind of looks like that they're... I'm not sure if they're dug up or if this is how they were. There's uh, Jesus. I think. Died 1-3-1874. Died 1934. I'm not sure what the bottom date is. 1st of February, 16. Hmm. Got to be something out here that's that we can look at. Some strange graves. I've never seen uh, like gravestones like that. What is this? Signs of a struggle. So we have several different footprints. No blood trail. Victim killed or wounded. Right here. Don't know what all that's about yet. So that's another little mystery we have to solve. There's uh, mausoleums. We can't get into any of those. We've got a wheelbarrow here with mortar in it and a trowel. Um, wheelbarrow. I guess somebody's laying brick down there. We're not going to go down there just yet, because that's pretty creepy. We're going to go in the house first. Burnt matches. An oil can. Stain. Oil lamp, maybe. Hmm. So now we got to find an oil lamp, apparently. And well, would the oil lamp maybe be down here in the... Oh, look at all the blood here. Wow. Crow carcasses. Why would you? Yeah, I'm not sure why you would kill crows like that. So they were bricking this up for some reason. It's too dark. Crow. There's a crow there. Well, we've got crow carcasses, but we don't have an actual crow. 
which would, would have been right there. So we got to find that apparently too. Well, let's walk here in the house if we can figure out a way in. Maybe we can find something. Uh, something in here. Here we go. Or is this a church, maybe? Look on the pews, make sure we aren't going to miss anything. Yeah, I guess this is a church. It's awfully dark, and it doesn't look like there's anything in here at all. Surely that's, there's something else to that other than just being a church. Or a monastery, or whatever you want to call it. Got that big clock tower there. That I reckon we can't go in. It really doesn't look like there's anything else going on with the church. I'm going to walk in here one more time and, and just look over there to that side and make sure we can't go into that clock tower somehow. Yeah, apparently we can. Oh, what I find? An oil lamp. There we go. We found the oil lamp. Sweet. We're going to take that. So that's going to help out. Can we get up here? I'm guessing not. That stinks. Alright, we've got the oil lamp. Let's go set it back over here. Let's see if it actually does anything. go fix the oil lamp okay now what now it doesn't do anything huh so we gotta find whatever went there which I imagine was probably an axe or a knife possibly that trowel but I'm not really sure can't do nothing down here. We need a crow for this down here. I thought maybe with the oil lamp we could actually light that passage way up, but no such luck there. Look around the graveyard once more. Okay, I guess we can continue on up the trail. Let's see what else we can find up here. I think that the story kind of continues as you go along. You're probably not supposed to go as far ahead as I'm going without finding things and unlocking parts to the game. But I don't know, so I don't want to hang around there too long and, and just, you know, constantly wonder if I need to advance. You know what I mean? Doesn't look like there's anything here. And I believe we can't go this way. We'll just continue on down the path, I guess. What well, the do path. The dead have to say, "You'd be surprised by how little they know." The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Well, that's kind of deep there. Not really seeing anything. It's a lot of walking, not really going anywhere. I 
Let's check out over here. I have a little area that looks like something could be hiding in. Uh, but there's nothing here. Okay, we've got a tunnel here, and I no, I thought maybe that was part of the train tracks, but it's not. There's a lock on it. Maybe at some point we find the key for that lock and can get in there. We've got this little tower over here. That'd be a generator, I believe, of some kind. Yeah, we're actually heading back towards the uh, towards the bridge now. I think we were way up way up the mountain a minute ago, and now we're kind of heading back down. Oh, we need to find something else. I've or is stepped that... through too many ports, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting, whenever I return, to bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things, memories without homes. If you say so. Again, I have no clue what's going on. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. I feel like that I'm not supposed to hear all that stuff just yet, but if they've made it to where you can just walk anywhere, then maybe I am. Well, we're back here at the bridge now. So we've made one complete loop around the whole place and I am absolutely absolutely dumbfounded as to what I'm supposed to be doing the only place I haven't been is down there so I guess I'll walk down there and see what I see so I've came back here to the first puzzle uh, and I kinda cheated just a little bit because I wanted to make sure that I was playing the game properly and I am. Um, it said to uh, it said that basically there's there's murder cases around that you have to solve and you have to find things um, to solve those murder cases around the area. Uh, and then this was the first one, and it did say you know you inspect the body and and, and stuff like that, and then you got to look around for things. Now it said that somewhere near a stump was a rock. There it is, and this is as far as I read. So this is the rock that killed the guy apparently. You have to find these items and piece together how these people died. Basically, I'm not 100% sure if this is correct or not, but I'm thinking that when when you solve these murders, uh, the ghost may help you find Ethan. I'm, I'm really not sure if that's how that works or not, but um, I'm thinking maybe that's it's possible that's how that works. So uh, let's go put this rock back where it goes and see what happens. Okay, put the rock back. Um, now, we know where the rail car is. It's up there. Uh, I don't know what the canister does, but I'm assuming that perhaps we need to light that on fire somehow. Severed legs. And rope. We need to find the crank. I think that's the next thing that we're missing. And I would, I would think that it would be up here somewhere. Let's follow the railroad track instead of the actual... Instead of the actual road, because some sometimes this stuff's kind of hidden off. Could be hidden off in the bushes or something. So we just have to look at everything really, really, really close. Could be in the back of the train. We can't actually get in the back of the train, so... Maybe back here? Nope. If we get in the train, could it be in here maybe there's 
Not in here. We can't do anything with that yet. Hmm. So we've got to find the crank, but where could it be? And there again, I don't know if, uh... I don't know if the crank could be anywhere on the map. Or if it's going to be right around the murder scene. So it could be basically anywhere. I'm going to walk back here. Make sure we haven't missed it. This is a really old track. Uh, really far down. Make sure we haven't missed it somewhere out here. And uh, while I was reading how to play, there's an achievement you can get by doing something this way. And I, I want to make sure, uh, I want to go ahead and get that. However it is you get it. Something about just walking into the tunnel. So I'm thinking if you try to go back, it gives you an achievement or something. I'm not sure. But I figured I'd go ahead and knock that out while I'm back this way. What's this? Okay, that's just part of the train track. Wonder if you ever reached the other side. Oh yeah, it's getting is it getting bigger? It's hard to tell. I think it is. Yeah, it's getting bigger for sure. So what's gonna be at the other side of the tunnel here, I wonder? Or is that gonna basically put us back out where we already were? Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah, pretty sure it did. I'm pretty sure we're back in the exact same spot we were just in. So basically now we're looking for the crank. Yep, it did. Wow, interesting. And, uh, I'm not going to spend hours upon hours looking for things. If I can't find it, uh, I will cheat. Because... I don't have that much time. I would love to spend all my own time looking for this stuff, finding it on my own. But uh, I just don't have that kind of time. So we're going to go back and look around this area one more time. And then if I can't find it, then, uh, then I'll cheat. As much as I hate to. But hopefully we'll find it on our own. Trying to think of where I, where it could be, because I really don't know. And I mean, this game does not give you hints or anything, as far as I can tell. So there is just absolutely no way of knowing where things are at. That's not a crank. Well, it is a crank, but it's not the crank I'm looking for. So maybe we'll look up in here. From the leaves, somebody might have threw it out. No. Nope, not here. Around these things, maybe. Not in these weeds. I'll look up here a little bit. Nope, not up here. See, as far as I know, that's what we're looking for is just that crank. And we're basically, I guess, rebuilding a murder scene. Do you think maybe the crank is down here on his body? No, because we would have seen it if it was. But I bet it's in like the most obvious spot. Like when you find it, you're going to know that's it. You know what I mean? I mean, I would almost think that maybe it was down here. Because I haven't seen anything down here yet. But I don't even know 
Not really even sure what it looks like. Or how hard it's going to be to spot. And it may not even be up here, it might be somewhere else. Could be anywhere. It's definitely not down there. Maybe around some of these trees, there's a canister. And then, I don't think you would have to go past that. That's where the rock's at. Okay, so it says that the crank is down here on the beach. Uh, I didn't see it. I kind of figured this is where it would be. But, it says it's laying right on the shoreline, so we'll go slow. Look, right there it is. How did I... Man, you really have to get... How did I not see that crank? I mean, I literally walked, like, right across it, right here. Well, we got the crank now. I know some of you probably are going to be annoyed that I'm cheating, but... Like I said, I really don't have time not to. <laughs> if I can't find something, I'm not going to spend hours and hours looking for it. So, let's head back up to the train here and uh, see if we can move this thing into place. We may actually need to find some gasoline to put in. We know where the canister's at, but it won't let us pick it up, so... I don't think that that's going to help us out too much. Alright, let's put the crank in here. Is the sun... Actually, is the sun... I wonder if the sun's rising or setting, or if it's even just staying in the same spot. It looks like it's just staying kind of in the same spot. Yeah, spin crank for sure. This baby started up here. Hey, it starts. Awesome. Okay, so let's um, let's go back. I don't think we need to go forward. Thing's been sitting here for a long time. I'm surprised it actually runs still. So we're looking for this. Uh, obviously, we're gonna park it right where it was, where the gasoline can is, the dead patch of grass. Right about here. Let's get out and see. I done something. Can't do anything with the fuel canister yet. Let's go over here and check out. Check out this guy real quick and just see. So. So it ran over his legs right there. He crawled down here. Okay, we're getting a better picture now of what's going on. A full picture. Sweet. Okay, here we go. And I guess this is going to show us kind of maybe what happened to him. Is that maybe his soul or spirit? I'm not really sure. It's going off in all different directions. Okay, do we go point to point of what happened? So I think we'd get on, first thing we need to do probably, oh, we've got to start them all up, guy picks up a rock here, bashes him over the head right here next to the train, there's a rock in his hand. Maybe knocks him out there. I'm not sure what the rope was for. Did he tie him down? Oh. That's a girl. He tied a girl down. 
Oh, he tied a girl down. This guy sees him, hits him over there with a rock. Then runs over him with a train. Cuts his legs off. Okay, so this is the first thing that happened, I think, right here. We had, we have the guy tying the girl up. And then we have, at that time, this guy picks up a rock down here. Okay. Old man approaches this guy with a rock. Busts him upside the head with it. He wakes up right here before the train hits him. Barely has time to get most of his body off the track. Strain runs over his legs. Old man and woman crawl, watch him crawl down here, maybe trying to help him. Man dies right here. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. Oh, that's that's Ethan Carter probably. You can't destroy it, Ethan. Yep. You can't destroy time, and that's what he is. He is forever. I wish there was another way. Okay, so he didn't do it. He didn't do it to Travis, because he tied him up. Where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <laughs> hey, there's Ethan's getting out of the ropes. This guy's stumbling around. Old man runs over him with the train, cuts his legs off. Oh gosh! And then he crawls. Ethan, run, goddamn it! Go, get out of here! So who's the old man? Travis, close your eyes. And he beats him over the head with that a few times, and then throws the crank down into the to the beach apparently. Fascinating. And now what? Were his spirits released? I guess. Where's it going? We're not gonna be able to follow it that far away. Oh, it's going right down there. Let's go see what's going on down here. I would assume. Well, no, it's not going to tell us where the crank was. So what is this then? Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Ethan runs. And now we're out of out of the dream state or Ethan's whatever. Family against him. The grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Well, that's interesting. So we know how to basically how to play it now. Uh, and hopefully from now on we'll just have to pay more attention. And hopefully I won't have to cheat. Uh, I'm gonna try my best not to, but uh, this is interesting. I like I like games like this, like detective type games. So uh, awesome. Well, I'm gonna cut this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one, where we'll go up here to the house and hopefully solve uh, some other kind of murder somewhere. All right. So have a good day. Bye bye.